What's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rambo Leak and my wife Rambo Wife. Alright, this week we're going to talk about our funniest, like drunk, and our funniest intoxicated stories from college. So, welcome to another episode of Storytime with the Wilsons. was kind of where we reconnected mm -hmm. and college was fun like it was my freshman year when we reconnected so of course because I came from a strict household I was having so much fun and I'm gonna start out with my personal um, worst intoxicated moment Let's just say I was or was not intoxicated by a substance that is uh, smoked. And this substance may or may not be shotgunned, hot boxed. <laughs> Why is it like hot boxed? <laughs> may or not may or may not be um is there anything else you can um or bonged you can get it out of a bong notice it's a jeep a, a jeep Great. obviously obviously i don't do it a lot so i can count on the number of times that i've done this thing like the number of times i've done it on my hands y'all when I say I was intoxicated, ha 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 ha, for a week, <laughs> a week like this happened on a Saturday. Oh, well, it was like a Thursday. No, nah, it was a Saturday, babe. Oh. Definitely a Saturday. Okay, so I came to Gaffney, and it was like a Saturday. We went out to, to um, well, we smoked before we went out. And it was all downhill from there. All I remember is being in a car. I was shotgunning with him, actually taking puffs of this unnamed substance. And then I was like, oh, shoot, I'm not feeling good. I'm really, 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 really 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 not feeling good so i get out of the car i leave the car door open i'm throwing up throwing up like i am drunk and everybody's yelling at me to close the door i'm like i'm throwing up over here and y'all are worried about getting out. right so we went on to the mexican restaurant i was seeing like four of everybody at the table I got up, I walked to the bathroom, I splashed some water in my face, and then I came back and I sat down. I saw two more people. Mind y'all, y'all know how fast some restaurants go, and this was one of those restaurants. I didn't even make it to get our food. I got in the car, and I went to sleep, and I remember nothing until maybe Sunday. Okay, hold up, Paul. The funny part about this whole story is that she skipped. When we left the location of where we was doing this activity, and we went to the restaurant, she was ducking down in the back seat because she thought every car that was headed towards the car we was in, she thought it was a cop car. So, so oh my God, they're coming to get us. And she kept ducking. <laughs> like, that's the truth. So, y'all, <laughs> that was the previous Saturday. On Thursday, was it Thursday? Yeah, that's me. I finally called him and I was like, I am still high. My dad will be here either Friday or Saturday. I couldn't remember which one it was. And I was like, my dad is going to see me high. Like, I'm still high. Like, I tried to sleep it off. Like, nothing is working. Like, I feel like I'm walking in slow motion. Literally, like, everything is going slow around me. Like, I can't focus because I'm so freaking high. Like, it, it, it was a mess. And that was the very last time that I ever had that substance. Never, ever, 
ever again will I let a substance do that to my mind? Well, my story is a little different. <laughs> that was a good night. We didn't even go nowhere. <laughs> That's the worst part. All right, all right, that's my story. All right, so I think it was Halloween. No, no, it, it, it was Halloween. It was Halloween. It was. It was, it was just a Saturday night. Oh yeah, it was Saturday after the after a game. Yep. And then we went to like some our homeboy house first. And no, you didn't. Yes, we did. We went to John's house. We all went to John's house. Yes. Yes, we did. Okay. Yeah, and then we came back. But like while we were there, while they were doing the other activity, I was taking three shots of liquor every time it came around to me. That was that's what I yes. was doing until the Yes, yes he was. And I had it in a Gatorade bottle. And I I went through about a Gatorade bottle and a half that that that, that night. And then when we got back, we was we were supposed to go to a party. Mm-hmm. But we sat outside the apartment in a car for two hours and did not go anywhere. Yeah, I was literally calling like every 15 minutes to check and see if they were like, okay. Because I would like hear the car crank up and then it would turn back off. And like the lights would come on and the way their apartment was set up, like I could see the headlights from the car in the kitchen window. And I was like, are they leaving? Cause I was staying to do my, my homework. Like I had a paper to write. So I'm like, nah, y'all go ahead. I'm good. I had a couple shots. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this paper. Y'all, when I- Okay, okay, okay. Is this your story or my story? Go ahead, keep going. Cause Thank I'm, you. It, it's all right, a mess. But, all right, a little bit of backtrack before we even got to the, uh, to the, my homeboy house. We ate at the Beacon in Spartanburg earlier that day. And I had a chili cheese of plenty. If you have, if y'all ever in town in the Spartanburg area, please go to the Beacon. Call it. Yeah, and if you don't have your order ready by the time you get to the front, they will move you to the back. Call it. Yep, and you better know because if you don't, you got you got less than three seconds to say your order. If you don't, to the back you go. But anyway, we had a beacon earlier, and then we we sitting out in the car, and then. Uh, we're just sitting there talking and Costco is so are we gonna go or and then like <laughs> we kept cranking up the car cutting it off and then I just said bump it I'm just gonna go back in there with her <laughs> I made it to the dough I, I think I was walking too fast and then it, it finally hit me on the way back to the apartment from out in the car <laughs> and then I got in that dough as soon as she opened the, as soon as I opened the door, I was like, man, like the whole room was spinning. I literally got on all fours and crawled to the room. While she's sitting on the bed typing a paper, I crawled to my room, got two towels out of the bottom drawer. Yes, I did. I put those towels on you. No, you did. I carried them to the. No. Okay. Well, I went to. I crawled to the room. And then I crawled to the bathroom. Yes. And I, I felt like I was about to throw up. So I, I, mean, I initially went to the toilet, but then I, I wasn't stable enough to stand up or sit up near the toilet, and neither did I want to. No, tell them where you went. Go I'm ahead. I'm going. I'm getting it. And then, see, my logic behind this was, <laughs> if I get in here. Just tell them. If I get in here. Like, it it wouldn't get on me. <clears throat> so, my genius drunk self climbed into the bathtub. We will insert the picture right yeah, here. she took a picture of me. That was so rude. Here it is right here. But anyway, I, I got in the bathtub and then I threw up how many times? Twice? Yes. I threw up twice. With then, the tater tots from the beacon. But from earlier. But it, it made so much sense in my drunk mind while I got in the bed. It was a it, stupid idea. Cause yeah, think about it. A, a bath was already downhill. So if you throw up it'll no. it, it'll run down. Nobody the thinks like that. Nobody thinks I was like drunk, that. that's what I was thinking. Nobody thinks like that. Even drunk me wouldn't think like that. Well that's drunk you. I'm talking about drunk <laughs> me with two different people. 
But yeah, and then she had to she had to bathe me. Yes. Y'all brush his teeth. Y'all ever seen a drunk person like swim from a shower run? <laughs> I have. Y'all, she, y'all, she was trying to drown me. I wasn't trying to drown him. Every time I would say, "Move your head this way," he would say, "Which way?" and immediately turn back to where the shower was, and it made me angry. And I was just like, you know what? Here you go. I, that wasn't trying to drown him. It was just a little splash of I'm water. Glad, I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, shower curtain didn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> the way I was voting on it. I know. And then, well, okay, then after the shower, and then she brushed my teeth. Then I gave you. She shoved two towels down my throat. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I about died. I thought I was going to die. And I gave him Gatorade. Yeah. So she took care of me. Yes. So he went have a hangover in the morning, and, and he I didn't. Did. I had a little bit, but it wasn't it wasn't as bad as it would have been though. Right. That's our most intoxicated moments <laughs> in college. So we about to get out of here. Make sure y'all go below, subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell so y'all get notified every time we drop a video. Yeah. It's your boy Rambo Leak and my wife Rambo Wife. You got anything you want to say to the baby? No. Also, in the comments below, drop some comments on some stuff y'all want to talk about or some food y'all want to try. We're going to do it. All right? All right. We out this thing. Peace.